Hey guys, Tactical Minds here. Um, <clears throat> as you can notice, uh, still in a uh, you know different location on the road, so I apologize for the background. I am in the kitchen, um, because that's the only place uh, in this place where I'm staying at where there's actually a table. Um, again, I apologize if the audio is a little echoey. I'm trying to do the best with that I can. Um, so the reason why I am sitting at a table is because today I wanted to talk a little bit about what I everyday carry, or EDC, for short. Um, before we go ahead and get into any of it, um, please, as always, like, comment, subscribe, share, hit bell for all notifications, all that good stuff. Um, to all my new subscribers, again, I truly do appreciate it. Um, let me know, guys, in the comment section below anything that you guys EDC that I don't. I'm sure there's a bunch. Everybody carries a bunch of different stuff. So before we get into it, I'm going to go ahead and give you kind of a short little view of what's on the table in front of me. Um, and then I'll bring the back camera up and we'll talk a little bit about it. So you guys a little view all right so that's more or less the items that are here in front of me let's talk about um some of them and uh get into why i carry them and what they're used for so first thing uh very easy obvious um i'm in a sunny location as you can probably see in the background but i do always have my uh you know sunglasses with me um, these happen to be Wiley X's. I personally just happen to prefer these. They fit my head well. They're a little bit cheaper than Oakley's and um, I've had these for probably going on three or four years now and they hold up really well. Um, just my opinion, but always good to have sun protection with you. Um, you know, sun can still come through the clouds or if you're in an area where it snows a lot, snow blindness is a real thing. Always good to have some type of eye protection, right? So let's get into... Uh, some other things. Um, obviously, you guys know I'm law enforcement, right? So I do always carry a pair of handcuffs with me. Now, I know there's um, some people who aren't law enforcement whose videos I've watched on EDC and they carry uh, handcuffs with them as well. Again, I carry them obviously for my reasons, but these are just Smith & Wesson handcuffs. Nothing fancy, guys. Um, just a little, I think, acre leather makes this uh, handcuff holder. So, and I do actually carry all this stuff in my pocket and you're gonna see some people carry more, <clears throat> some people carry less. Um, this is what I personally carry, okay? I don't like my pockets to be overstuffed, but I do like to have the things I need. So, um, that being said, also, let's uh, real quick here. Do always have my wallet. Yes, this thing is thick like a book, but what are you gonna do, right? I got a lot of stuff I gotta keep in there. It's a personal organizer and it's a friend. Also, Pretty good self-defense weapon if you actually need to jab somebody in the throat with it. Any event, um, so I do always carry uh, keys for other things that I need keys for. I know I look like a dungeon master. I promise I'm not. Um, this right here is a uh, backup key for the handcuffs for the double locked cuffs. This little mechanism is used to double lock it so that the cuffs are locked twice. Do have a lanyard of paracord on here because always important to have some rope on you and it's just easy to carry, you know, and if your keys fall, it's kind of quick to grab, right? Um, little P38 can opener. Um, I just carry a can opener, I have one with me. Um, in here, this little tube, I do have some, uh, I believe they're made by ear harmonics, but they're just little earbuds. Um, if I were going to get into a situation where I was going to either be at the range or if I knew there was a situation where I was going to possibly be using my weapon and I had the time, which you probably won't, but if I had the time, I could take those little plugs, shove them into my ear real quick and go ahead and, uh, preserve my hearing, right? Um, another one of the things I carry that I'm a big advocate of. So this is made by Kershaw. And this is just a little um, utility knife that you can carry. It's just got a little uh, bottle opener, but these days, what doesn't have a bottle opener, right? The reason why I carry this is for getting into boxes, cutting rope, and other um, things. One of the things about carrying a self-defense knife on you is you don't want to dull that blade um, cutting into boxes and cutting rope and cutting everyday things. You want that blade to be nice and sharp purely for self-defense purposes. And chances are, if you're using it to do all that stuff, you're probably not going home every couple of days and sharpening it. So this little thing is plenty sharp. It cuts everything that I need so that my tactical knife or whatever I'm going to use for self-defense, I don't have to use for, uh, you know, cutting anything else open, right? So I know it's always going to be sharp when I need it. 
All right, <clears throat> so going on that, let's go into what I carry. You guys probably seen this in video before, this OTD knife in OD green here. This is one of my favorite ones I'm carrying now. It's by Normandy Knives. I have lots of knives and maybe one day in a collection we'll go into some of the knives I have. But this is just the one that I like carrying it now. It's got a nice smooth action, nice clothing action. I prefer it. Um, nice little, you know, Tonto blade on there, not serrated. I like the knife, it's nice. And it has a window punch on the back. You guys can see there if it focuses in. Um, so one thing with a window punch, I do think that everyone should carry them, but quick little thing. So if you are gonna use a window punch, let's say you're in an accident situation where you do need to break your window and get out of there. Um, you can punch your window just about anywhere and it's going to crack. However, <clears throat> if you wanna do it the way where you're gonna have the best chance of the whole window shattering so that you can climb out of it and not be climbing over shards of glass and stuff, what you wanna do is the bottom front corner or the bottom back corner, but you wanna hit those bottom corners with the window punch and what happens is that's going to take the weight of the glass and allow it to fall down and collapse on itself and that will allow the whole window to shatter rather than hitting it up top um, you might not get that same effect you might just get cracks in the glass or puncture a part of it so remember those bottom corners those are the strengths of the window that's where the weight of the glass is going to cause it to collapse and fall out all right so anyway that's the way. another thing i do always carry a lighter now you guys who've watched my videos see my get home bag i got lots of fire starting kits but I do always carry this lighter. This is a torch lighter. Oh, one thing I didn't mention. That's on the other keys. Um, but yeah, so this is a little torch lighter. Um, I like torch lighters. They're really good. Um, I carry one because I like cigars. And uh, torch lighters are good for cigars. And, um, you know, another nice thing about cigars, if you are into cigars, is that if you are in a uh, survival situation and you have a cigar on you, um, let's say you need to carry a fire from one place to another or have some way of taking, uh, you know, a, a flame with you. Um, a cigar is a really good thing, right? Because you sit there, you get it nice and going, you puff on it a few times. And what happens is that cigar is just going to keep slowly burning and hold that ember. You may have to give it a little puff every uh, couple of minutes, but that's going to keep that like a coal, just keep it kind of burning and smoldering, right? And you can carry that with you over long distances. And if you're out in the wind, the wind itself is actually going to keep that thing burning a long time, right? And you can take that to a location and use that to get a fire started if need be. So that's an advantage of having cigars. But anyway, I do always recommend carry a lighter with you. Another thing, car keys, right? Everyday car keys, all this type of stuff on it. Again, going with the cigar little v-shaped cigar cutter because i do like my cigars this right here is a little cpr pouch just has a little plastic thing if you can see in there basically to put over your mouth if you are going to give cpr to somebody so you're not putting your mouth to their mouth whether they have vomit in it or some other type of uh you know disease or infection that you don't want to get you can take this out real quick again most days for cpr now they do recommend um, that the chest compressions are the most important part and you don't have to give those rescue breaths however um i have it with me just in case right <clears throat> so moving along to the next thing flashlight you guys know i'm a big proponent of always carrying flashlights i think i've shown this one before this is the through night bss v4 um, again this is from black scout survival from their store um, i'm not affiliated with them in any way it's just a really good bright flashlight and i really do like that bezel edge giving you that self-defense and i like the fact that it also has an led lens that it comes with and i like the fact that it's usb rechargeable right there um that's just me i like it nice deep carry pocket clip and uh th this is one of my favorite flashlights i have tons of flashlights but this is my favorite one to carry by far um, again, Black Scout Survival is where you can get that. They probably have them on Amazon too, but Black Scout Survival is a good page. I uh, do watch them quite a bit, and he's a veteran, so support our veterans, right? Um, let's see. So I don't carry the multi-tool in my pocket. You guys who have watched my videos know I always have one in my backpack. I um, always keep one in my car. This one I do carry in my work uh, uniform. But I do always have it um, close by. I just don't carry it in my pocket because, again, I don't like my pockets overstuffed. I know a guy in a previous video that I did mentioned, um, hey, this guy's got a multi-tool inside a pouch, inside another pouch. Well, to respond to that, um, if you're in some life-threatening situation where a multi-tool is going to save your life and you need to get to it within a matter of 15 seconds or less, um, let, let me know because 
I don't know of any situations where that's ever existed, that a multi-tool is going to save your life if you don't get to it within, uh, you know, 10 seconds. Anyway, this is the Gerber uh, MP600, I believe. I prefer carrying this one because I like that it's got the one hand opening on the jaws there. Um, I just like that because if I'm injured, whatever, some situation, I like that I can just get to it one hand, right? Um, another thing, <clears throat> I don't carry a tourniquet in my pocket. I do have one on my uniform. I do carry one in the car, and I do carry one on the get home bag that I have with me all the time. I just don't carry it with me in my pocket. If I'm going to a situation where I need to take it, I can grab it, but I don't have it in my pocket because, again, I just don't like my pocket stuff. So, um, last thing is going to be a concealed firearm. I know I'm a big advocate of that. I'll talk about that more in a second. Um, this one is the uh, HK VP9. Just go ahead and show you guys. Weapons clear. Okay. HK VP9. Um, <clears throat> I personally prefer this as far as 9mm go in uh, compact 9mm. I think this is one of the more accurate, reliable ones on the market. Um, does have the dual paddle magazine release. I personally prefer it. Um, I just can't say enough great things about this weapon. Um, and this does have the Streamlight TLR1 um, weapon mounted light on it. I personally do like this light a lot, but I'll do another review another time of all the weapon mounted lights I have and you know what I prefer about some and what I don't. Um, but we've talked about what that light's for, right? So obviously, magazine for the weapon, 15 round magazine, right? Carries one in the chamber. And then again, uh, this is just a little Pitbull mag carrier. Uh, universal mag carrier carries any type of single or double stack magazine for your weapon. Um, and again, always carry a backup mag, right? Two is one, one is none. Um, and if you do get into a situation where you're gonna need to use your weapon, as I explained in a video before, that first magazine is gonna go rather quickly. Um, so another thing real quick, guys, just um, to kind of touch up on the weapon and kind of wrap this whole video up. Um, so a lot of you probably know by now it was very sad what happened in New York, that subway shooting a few days ago. Um, a lot of people, you know, it, it was a very sad situation. A lot of people are hurt. I'm not sure of the actual uh, amount injured or death toll. I don't know what it's up to yet. It's still from just a few days ago, but um, very unfortunate situation. Now, New York does have some of the strictest gun laws there are out there, and I'm not going to get into my politics about gun laws and all that stuff because that's not for this video. What I do want to say on that strength is, um, you know, if somebody would have had a concealed handgun on them in that situation, you know, some loss of life could have been prevented. Um, you know, if you remember the Aurora, Colorado shooting that I did do a brief video on during the Batman movie, um, I do know there was a Navy veteran that was in that movie theater at the time. And if I forget if he was still active duty or if he had been uh, discharged, was just a veteran. But I know he was a concealed carry holder. And he did say that he regretted not carrying his weapon on him that day. And the reason why I say this, guys, and bring up those two subjects is because I know a lot of guys in law enforcement and a lot of guys outside of law enforcement, right? Guys that carry concealed and stuff. Um, guys that carry off duty. And I hear a million excuses for why guys don't want to carry. I'm just going down the street. I don't like it. It's uncomfortable. I don't want to wear it to here. I'm going to this event. I'm wearing this type of clothing. You know, a million reasons as to why not to carry it. Guys, at the end of the day, the only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. You've probably heard that a million times before, but I'm telling it to you the million and one time, okay? The only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. There's no reason to make an excuse for why you need to leave your house without your weapon. If you're a concealed carry holder, if you're a concealed carry holder, there's no reason, guys. I mean, buy a weapon that's comfortable. Buy a subcompact. I don't care what you buy. There's so many subcompact 9 millimeters on the market today. There's something available that will fit you. Buy something that's comfortable so that you don't have to worry about carrying it with you. And as far as different articles and types of clothing, they make different holsters for everything. They make belly band holsters that you can wear under gym clothes. They make holsters for everything. My point is, don't find an excuse why not to carry, okay? Find an excuse why to carry. Because if a situation like that occurs, okay, I'm not saying that it's your job to prevent loss of life, but, you know, to protect yourself, to protect your loved ones, protect the people you're with, or if you do want to go and step in and try to prevent loss of life. Just like I say, guys, find an excuse to carry, not an excuse not to carry. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hope you liked it, took something away from it. Um, again, thanks for watching. 
Um, stay safe, stay tactical, stay dangerous, stay strapped. Guys, have a great day. Thanks.